So, in three, two, one. Hey! hey. That was quite a good intro. Yeah, it was. Do we want right. to keep doing that three, two, one thing? Like, does that work well for getting everybody in? Well, we're 15 at this point, and we all just fucking stick by it. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, what else do you want to just go, now? <laughs> go! <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. The surprise aspect might be funnier. Because at least that way, like, when you do the countdown, I have time to sit there and go, right, got to put my phone down, got to pay attention. I have those three <laughs> seconds to get my shit together. <laughs> fucking three seconds to get my shit <laughs> oh, it's important man you need to like because I'll, I'll be sitting there with like a, a can of drink or something or like you like stuff something in my face and you just like the countdown like alright cool and they actually fucking like that's yeah, yeah. all for a second yeah so if I just went now you'd you, like all you guys would be like <gasps> you'd get my router up. noise again you'd <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much still not right I can never recreate that <laughs> such a good noise though <laughs> It oh, was. welcome this week to the Badgers Borough Podcast. We have the regular podcast crew with us today, which is Ross, Alex, and myself. I yeah. went to do the hail bit when you said my name there. Forgot we don't do that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be honest, then. Yeah. I was the same. Don't worry. I just feel like I, I feel like that faster intro just lets us get stuff done, especially while we're still yeah. doing the shorter podcast. So they'll be just had a di- discussion off record there about changing that. Discussion off record. Well, it was. You, you words good, Jamie. Well done. It, yeah. was, it was off record. Like, you could just say prior before we started recording. And be like, off record. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's what I sound like. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck, this is my 15th podcast. It's our 15th podcast. I've been on all of them. 14 for me. I'm lagging. Sucks. 14 for me also, yeah. yeah I'm the First only. Off. <laughs> no. I will see this. I will burn this fucker into the ground if do I go. You, do you think like? Do you think like he's gonna be like our Gus? Like over over the course of like over the course of like the next five years and all the different podcasts we might do in that time. Could, Hope so. Could we see Ross? You know, being on. You know, like we get to podcast three hundred and Ross has been on like two hundred and ninety eight of them. Fucking, I've got the misery down. Yeah, and the hatred like of everyone. You're so, a dirt, you know. so you know you pretty much fit the part. I just I need to take just one off so we can catch up with them. Just one. No. <laughs> what we need I'm not. To do I'm is not start... taking one off until you guys take another one off. <laughs> what we need to do is like. I must stay one ahead of you all the time. We need to set it so we're starting really fucking early and just hope the fucker sleeps in. <laughs> <laughs> but then, Look, I got. I I managed to get up at fucking for work at seven this morning. I'll beat you. Yeah, absolutely. Well. Yeah, but that's the thing, Alex. I was waiting. I got say, twelve of the. <laughs> you, you love your wanking chariot too much. I think that's that's where your weakness would be there. If you um, if you say let's start early so that Ross misses a podcast, I'll be fucking sat here on my own going, "Hello, welcome to the podcast." <laughs> that's uh, very true. <laughs> Ross and Alex couldn't be here today, so I'm just going to tell you what the icons are on my desktop because I don't know what else to speak about. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, and then like midway through it, I just like come on to him and go, all right. <laughs> what we're doing? Am I late? <laughs> oh, right. God. Uh, I'll have a cup of tea, eh? Yeah, fucking tea's bro. We need to we need to get a steady fourth member of this podcast. We need to hire someone new, Alex. Yes. You, before we started. Are you fucking happy with how I said that one? Right. Yeah. But right before we started, you said we were I'm, go- I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you something, but I'm not gonna ask you it now. I'm gonna ask you it on the podcast and surprise you with it. Right. Not that good. <laughs> not the way I, not the way I built up. You. Why'd you laugh? <laughs> Why'd you laugh so much at that? It was the fucking silence. <laughs> just, just, right. Well, you're well, like, you were gonna ask me on the podcast. And then, like, I can just imagine you smiling ear to ear, like, he's going to ask me, now's the moment. And Alex just there, like, fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> right. What it was is, what is, what do you think is this, the meanest thing you've ever done to one of your friends? The meanest thing I've ever done. I can tell you mine. I've already told you mine, but. Yeah. Like, just be an absolute cunt in the most loving way. 
Have you said it on a on a Badrin pal, Ross? I don't think uh, so. Uh, no. No, we were just sitting playing GTA at the time. <laughs> I think I know this story, but go, you should go for it, Ross. Right, okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 you can sound like an elf again. Um, oh, yeah. Fucking off at the park. Yeah. When I was in college, I went to a party, and guy that I was in the same class as, his girlfriend came up to me. He was passed out drunk. She was bloated out of her mind, and I was half cut. And she basically tells me that, like, the relationship is rocky. She thinks she's going to end it. She doesn't want him to leave her. What can she do? She asks me for advice. Fucking why? No choice. <laughs> yeah, that's her first mistake. <laughs> so, in my cruel mind, I tell her that he's into, you know, dominant women. <laughs> to which she replies, what do you mean? And I'm like, well, next time you're shagging... Just, you know, slap him about a bit. You know, give him a wee hit. And she's no believing this, she's no believing this. And then she gets up to go get another drink. And I very quickly grab his phone and look up uh, fucking BDSM porn. Mm-hmm. Put it on his phone, put it into his history, and then, like, I close it. And she comes back, and I'm like, fucking go check his phone. I guarantee you, you'll find some on there. Right enough, she does, because I've just planted it. <laughs> <laughs> She then comes back to me and goes, he's never told me this. How, how, how is it, you know? I was like, well, guys just sometimes share more than, you know, what we do with our partners. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, so next time, you you know, you get on top of him and, you know, as he's getting into it, just, just give, him a, give him a slap, give him a hit. And I'm like, and then this is where I really turn evil. I'm like, if he says stop, what are you doing? Or don't, you're hurting me. That's just code. That means do it harder. Keep doing it. Do it, you know, really give him a good hit. She's like, are you sure? I was like, go watch that fucking video on his phone. I guarantee you that it's just like a code word. She's like, right, okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. So party ends. I go home. And uh, we see him about three days later at college. And he's got a broken nose. <laughs> he- pummeled the living shit out of him because he would not stop screaming, stop, stop, what are you doing? Please stop hitting me. <laughs> and she took my advice to a whole new level. She, uh, she, she didn't set up a safe word beforehand then, did she? No, she got into it and ended up uppercutting him and breaking his nose. You're a really horrible person. They're still together. Hey, so fuck, he saved it. It might just be he's too scared to leave now, though. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> he, stand, he stands by that he's not into it, but I guarantee they're still do, they're still like beating each other up in their. Nah, bedroom. you don't you don't stick together that long if you're not something fucking freaky. Do they exactly. kn- do they now know that that was a prank? Um. You? No, actually. <laughs> they do. <laughs> now, now they will, yeah, but neither of them have put it together yet. What do you mean now they will? Do they watch this? Fucking, they might. Yeah, mate. You might be one of those forty-three people out there that you know listen to this shit. Yeah. I mean, shout out to you guys, by the way. You're fantastic. Yeah, we love you guys. All forty-three of you. At the same time, anyway. <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. Have you had a chance to think about what makes you an evil person? I've been thinking about it. else that's exactly that how you say that like that counts but it's like when i was in college i feel like these stories are going to be college stories <laughs> when i was uh of course you fucking have one this is why you asked this isn't it you multiple jimmy i just wanted to find out what fucking makes you guys tick all right okay fair <laughs> so when i was in college there was this guy um i was doing a, a music course and he was on the sound engineering course and he was Aye. telling me about this girl that really, really liked him. And he's like, I really like her. I really like her. I can't. I, I really want us to go out. Like, I think we'd make a good, good, good couple. Um, that conversation would go, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I just, I just, I, I like her. 
So I went and spoke to the girl, initially aiming to be his wingman. And I uh, went and spoke to the girl and sp- said, you know, this, this guy really likes you. Uh, you know, what do you think of him? Uh, and she was just like, eh, he's all right. <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, Im- immediately I was like, okay, so the wingman and thing isn't going to work here really like at all. It's not going to work out. So anyway, a couple of weeks pass and he really pisses me off during these couple of weeks, just constantly speaking about this girl and constantly doing stuff that really just ticks me off. And I was just like, well, do you know what? Since I went and spoke to her on behalf of him, we'd been speaking. So I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to like, I'm just going to see what happens if I do this. And I basically just started chatting her up. Kind of out of nowhere. And uh, within a, within like like a day and a half's worth of fucking chatting up, she invites me over to her house for tea. Fucking cheese easy. And um, <clears throat> so I go around, uh, you know, shagger. That's right. <laughs> as you do. And uh, yeah, haven't seen her since then. <laughs> but he was really annoyed with me, and that was the point. I mean, I can understand why. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> see, I think I'm a better person than you because mine's is funny. Yeah, like mine's was done for comedy. Just sad. <laughs> <laughs> you say you say that mine's wasn't funny, but Alex laughed. So yeah, but you did yours to annoy I him. I laughed at your wording. You did. You deliberately went out of your way to annoy somebody or I piss was them asked off. What makes me a horrible? Person. I just wanted to make a funny story out of this. I wanted to see if she'd do it. She took it well beyond what I had expected to happen. It was better than I could have ever planned. Yeah, but see, I don't speak to anyone, so I can't do that. Well, there's your problem. Yeah. Fucking go outside. Nah, mm-hmm. it's wet out there. Alex, what's yours? Problem, I don't know. You don't know? I'm tr- I'm... Be me and try to figure out what's the most horrible thing I've done to someone. Does it just come up as pictures in your head? Oh, just the list that fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> have we talked about that on a podcast? Yeah, we have, haven't we? I think we spoke. Uh, about my picture brain. Yeah, we discussed it briefly last time. Yeah. I, I thought we spoke about it on that let build that we did. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, that's yet to come out. Actually, yeah. no, that'll, that'll come out before this. Yeah, that'll be yeah. out. That'll be out. Oh yeah, that'll be out way before this comes out. Mm. We're um, we're actually been better with the podcast recently. Yeah, we have. The like last two weeks. <laughs> Nah, it's been, we've it's, been adults. No, nah, it's been long, we have. It's been absolutely longer than that that we've been better at doing this. I think. Yeah, because I feel like the last podcast that we spoke about being really last minute with it was like. I think that was the game of the year, which was what November. Um, that, that came out when we had like the whole thing with fucking re-recording it. Must yeah, about then. Must have been. Yeah. Was it that long ago? I don't know. No, it wasn't. It wasn't no. the game of the year one, but it was the. It was one of the last ones in November. Yeah, it was like the. L- I think it was, was the, the one we had. We had Emma on because that we had, we did fucking two in the one day. Yeah. That one. Yeah, and I think that was when we started to catch up because if we hadn't yeah. done the two in one day, we wouldn't have been ahead of ourselves. Mm. And now we're always doing it like a week ahead of time, so like yeah. our stories are out of date. Well, so, I mean, like, uh, well, we don't recording this, it. recording this on a Wednesday, I won't go out yesterday. Yeah. But it's like, <clears throat> I feel like, because we don't speak about, like, current news and affairs. Would you bother? It's horrible, though. Yeah. But, like, we don't, we don't, like, I, I don't think we've mentioned any, like, ma- major stories that have been, like, overly recent. Eh, not I can think of. Yeah. Oh, I've just come up with another idea for Podcast 20. Well, then. Yeah. There's a thing. Oculus Rift went on pre-order today. Oh, did it? Yeah. It's like oh. 600 quid. Fuck that. <laughs> and, and there's no actual date on when it when you'll get it. It's just you can pre-order it. Just give it $600 and you'll yeah, get it when you get it. You'll get it eventually. Yeah, it'll come. Uh, I'm not into that, man. No. That's why I don't bother with Kickstarter shit. You know, it's like fucking give this money, you might get something. Yeah, might. Yeah. Fucking... Uh, Psychonauts 2, man. Mm-hmm. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> Isn't that actually coming out now, though? 
Nick Hornets too. Yeah, it is. But like, see if they would just stop advertising it and actually just make it. They would need to ask for less money. Plus, Tim Schafer was a fucking dick anyway. I'm not a fan of the company. A lot of people be un uh, unhappy with that opinion. A lot of people love Psychonauts. Yeah, Psychonauts. The first Psychonauts was good. Will not will not dispute that. It was a great game. The issue is Tim Schafer's last two projects. Yeah. Have barely even left the fucking gate. Wait, like, he got a fuck ton of money for one. Couldn't make it. Designed too much game apparently after raising a fuck ton more than they asked for. Game on after that, the exact same fucking thing. How do you sit in bits? How do you design too much game? That sounds like something I would you, say. You be either like fucking you be either Tim Schafer or Peter fucking Molyneux. You know? Like, I know you can over like over plan it. You can, like, you can over sell it. You gotta start you somewhere. Promise. Yeah, it's like what what he basically said is like they ran out of money on that game, and. It was because he designed too much game for what he had. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? I, I get that you designed too much, but that doesn't mean you have to stick to the, the like the design. No, it's like for for how much money he had, there was he couldn't make it for how much money he had. Well, so he, he had to release a unfinished game. Did he actually release it though? Yeah. What was that game? Looking up now. Oh. I remember, <laughs> <the name> of... <laughs> I I can't remember like, his name. I felt like that was information you'd have to hand. Yeah. What do I have to hand? <clears throat> Two hands. Your dick. We went different ways with that, Jamie. <laughs> Very much so. Always, <laughs> always do. Um, what game do we always play where we sync periods, Ross? Fucking any game that involves us killing things. There was a game that I would quite like to play with you at some point Ross or a, a uh, series of games um, that we can do the co-op uh, campaign through on um, which is Splinter Cell because oh, yeah. I feel like me and you would be very good at that game yeah we'd, we'd tend to be in each other's heads when it comes to stealth <clears throat> yeah like I've not so much stealth that as you just fucking murder everything before it finds you that could be classed as stealth yeah I mean, didn't find me not stealth didn't find me I suppose. It's only a problem for the janitor when he comes to lock up. I'll kill him too. Nah, jan- janitors are lovely. Soul of the earth. <laughs> they are. Alex, I, I really do want to hear like a horrible story from you before this podcast is out. <sighs> just fucking pick one. If right. You, if um, you've got so many, just pick a good one. I give a guy second degree bonds in his face once. <laughs> I've not heard this one yet, go on. Uh, okay. Sitting in college, you know, outside the class, waiting for it to stop. Aye. Uh, sitting there with a lighter and a candle drink, just fucking about as you do, just, you know, spraying it. And I look to my left and see the good man we'll call him Rick. I like how you can't just you can't just not give him a name. He has to be Rick in the situation. Yeah, he's Rick. We'll call him Rick. I you know notice that Rick has annoyed me a few times. <laughs> so what I decided to do is just, you know, spray a bit of dodo at him. And then light it. Uh and his facial hair caught file. I scald the boy's cheek. I like that. You looked at him and then realised he's annoyed you. You're just like, oh, hey, that guy, he's annoying. That reminds me... No, of... it's just like... You know that oh, look, at Rick the prick. <laughs> yeah. You know that way folk just fucking, they, they irritate you. <laughs> you know? And you yeah. look at them and then you remember why they fucking annoy you. Just the fact that they exist. <laughs> mm-hmm. that. Yep. Yeah, every day. So my shoes once as well, that's, that's different. Eh? That's not someone's shoes once as well, but that's different. Oh. <laughs> See, that reminds me of a story similar uh, involving fire deodorant. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, um, I was up in uh, I was up in Aviemore camping with friends. Hi. And um, <clears throat> we we're just fucking about with deodorant flamethrowers, and um, one guy says, 
oh, do you know what would be funny? Go and, um, go and spray it at my shorts. So I sprayed it at his shorts, like the fire at his shorts. And he, and he like, you know, as you do, you would just bat the fire away from your dick <coughs> and, like, jump away. And he said, oh, that wasn't actually hot. Nothing caught fire. How can we, cha- how can we change that? And I and like my and and I immediately just went well. I'll just spray a patch of deodorant on your trousers and then spray it with fire. And he just went. Sure. And he just went. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> so spray a massive patch of deodorant. Like I think he's stopped paying attention because of the mass amount of deodorant that I put on his crotch. Aye. And then proceed to shoot fire at it. And he then does exactly the same thing. He goes, oh. oh, oh bats the fire away from it but then realizes that some of the deodorant is actually soaked into his shorts so so they've completely now caught fire so it's like literally is a guy like bashing his own dick to put out a fire what i've realized here is your friend is an idiot (laughs) (laughs) i haven't spoke to him for a long time Those uh, two Double Fine games we're talking about are uh, Broken Age and Double Fine Adventure. Ah. Yeah. Like, both of which were in, you know, that sort of production stage for, you know, way longer. Both delayed, like, fuck. And then came out broken as fuck. Was Double Fine not uh, Brutal Legend as well? Yep. Brutal Legend was good, though. Yeah, but do you not remember the fucking development cycle on that? was fucking massive as well. Well, no, not really, because I picked it up ages after it came out. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, if you want to call that was a, that was stuck in production for a long time. Have they? Have you guys heard that they might be bringing back? Remember how before Disney bought uh, Star Wars? Aye, yeah, thirteen, thirteen. Thirteen, thirteen. Yeah, they're <clears> thinking <throat> about reviving that. Uh, I don't. For what I was saying, it's not so much that reviving it, but taking elements of it and using them in other projects. Yeah, and which uh, I'm okay with. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a good game. Yeah, I was, I was, I was stoked for it. Wanted that fucking fit back story, man. <laughs> Well, it wasn't even originally planned as that. It just happened to be no. what it ended up kind of looking like. Yeah. Um, do you know what I think they really need to get right at some point? Is, like, I feel like it would be another addition to the Jedi Knight series of games. I think that's what the game would be. But it's just a game that needs to get lightsaber combat better, like, just right. Mm. Yeah, there's yeah. not... There's, There's not, not many that have done it well. Yeah, exactly. Like, well, that fucking that Obi One game that came out in like two thousand, that was not too bad. What the one on the PlayStation One? Mm. Yeah, I had that. That was that was okay. Blocky as shit, but the combat was actually alright for what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. That it was, was sort of like top down look though, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, but... you're on about fucking the Phantom Menace game. Aye. Yeah. Nah, that was a piece of shit. Nah. Nah, it really was. I I fucking go and. Go and look back at the fucking combat in that. I guarantee you, you'll disagree. Nah. Well, the Star Wars will be one that came out in the Xbox as well. The original Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that one was not entirely <coughs> too bad, if I remember rightly. I think the for me it was um it was Jedi Academy that got lightsaber fights probably the most accurate that I've seen in a video game. I.e. like you had certain numbers a certain number of moves outside of lightsaber combat that you could just like chop up normal troops with and um, you know you could um you, you your dude would automatically block incoming blaster fire you could swap out to blasters to you know shoot long long range targets and stuff like that you had plenty of options but the thing that i liked most about that game was when you got in a lightsaber clash um as soon as both of both the the people involved started hitting the attack button. It would actually go to like proper like dueling saber moves, Aye. rather than the standard attack pattern. Like there are some exceptions where you can kind of like you can use the you can use the game mechanics to kind of break that and get easy hits in. But typically speaking, the the lightsaber combat in that was quite unique and it was actually quite realistic in that the sabers would actually block the other sabers and you know there would be attacks that went both ways which I did you ever did you ever play the revenge of the sith game uh yes that that game that game got it more right i think as well that was a very good one for it i liked that one that was a fun game to play it 
does suffer, oh, that one. It does suffer from the <coughs> fact um it does suffer from the exact same problem that I have with most lightsaber involved games though, is that like even hero on hero one hit kills with a fucking lightsaber. Or at least dismembers. No, not in that game. No, that no, that's what I mean. Like that's that's my problem with it. It wasn't there. It was a fucking game. I mean, you don't want it to be like your ball blister on the head. Mm-hmm. Not fucking Dark Souls, mate. Oh, that would be a good smash up, don't you think? Uh, would it fuck? No, it would be because that's how hard it would be to actually be a fucking Jedi. It would t- it would let you know how much concentration is actually fucking going through their head. I suppose. But at the same time, it's, it would be like Dark Souls. I enjoy Dark Souls. No, you do. You're one of these weird fucks that get enjoyment out of pain. No, it, see, that game for me, like, it's a perfectly designed game where every time I die in Dark Souls, I go, <clears throat> that was my fault. I've never been cheated at Dark Souls. Like, every single time that I've died in that game, it's my fault. That's why I think it's it's one of those games that, yeah, it's, it's hard, but... It's fair hard. Like, if you make a mistake, you suffer greatly for it. I suppose you what I mean. Yeah. And it's like, I never, I've never felt cheated in that game. It's like, if I've gone into a new area, come up against a new enemy, and they've killed me straight away, I go like, okay, fair enough. I went into that too aggressively. This, this is a new enemy, it's got a new attack pattern, I don't know what that attack pattern is yet, I should have stayed back and tried to figure it out better first before I went in. That makes sense. You know, and then the enemies that you're <coughs> really, really, really familiar with throughout the game, right. you, you can come up against them all the time, but you know you can still fuck up those encounters really easy just by getting too cocky or going for that one extra attack because you think it will kill them. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then it leaves you wide open to being fucking hammered. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wasn't really any sort of games like that. It was always more sort of shooters. So. Yeah. New Assassin's Creed's quite like that, actually. Like, if you... Oh. If you uh, yeah, like, if you mistime your, one of your fucking attacks, you get fucking punished for it. It's quite, a, it's quite a hard game. It's... I've never really played any of the Assassin's Creed games. I never got into them. I, think I, I keep uh, trying and keep not managing. I think, um... I think you'd enjoy Syndicate. I suppose it depends on what your favourite historical time period is with those games, though. Well, I've got Black Flag downloaded on my Xbox, which I still need to play at some point. But it's got pirates in it. I like pirates, so... Yeah, yeah. pirates are pretty cool. Yeah, that, that game is very, very cool. And the fact that, like, more often than not, when you get into combat in that game, especially if you're out at sea, which is pretty much the entire fucking game, you spend yeah. very little time on land in that game. A lot of it's naval combat and jumping from ship to ship sweet and being a pirate Arg. and uh, almost every time that you get into combat like that um, the fucking the music that plays is very 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 reminiscent of Pirates of the Caribbean and it's just a very cool like score to fight to especially because you're a pirate because I think Pirates of the Caribbean is what everybody goes to when they think of pirates these days pretty much yeah I would like sort of like a feudal Japan Assassin's Creed. That'd be pretty cool. You've got one. Well, sort of. It's what? Um, it's Assassin's Creed China is out. And the eighties, plenty of difference between fucking feudal Japan and China. N- no, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Breath, he's not going to understand it anyway. If, if, yeah. if you're if you're wanting like an Asian-based um, Assassin's Creed game. Not how many like Asian subcultures are all, Jimmy? Oh yeah, fucking loads. Right. I'm okay. Just, I'm just saying, right now, that's the closest <laughs> that you're going to get. Close. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want though is a new fucking Elder Scrolls. Not online, just a new Elder Scrolls. That'll be happening. Soon. It's fucking better. Nah, it will. And come on, Todd, bless us. Hmm. We're out of time. We do you believe? Oh. Already. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a fucking villager from Minecraft. No, that's. How did it again? Huh. Yeah, huh. he's right, actually. Huh. That is that. Huh. Right. 
Who Squid wants round. To, who wants to do the thing? Not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I don't, I don't care. Ross, Ross, do you still like doing this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm tired. All right, fair enough. I'm, I've been up for over 12 hours now. <clears throat> I'm tired. Oh, fair. All right, okay, so... Thank you for listening to this episode of the Badger's Burrow podcast. If you enjoyed this podcast, you can go to badgerandpals.com where you can find links to all of our other shit. Join us next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.